But there's a mm. whole conversation <laughs> between yeah. Bilbo and Smaug. And, and Bilbo flatters him. Oh, you know, greatest of, you know, and chiefest of calamities, right? He, he, all these things, he, he, he flatters Smaug to kind of get him talking. But let's talk about that. Like, is that a good idea to have a, a chat with a dragon? I mean, you know, it, 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 <laughs> if you, you know. want to steal something from it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking about this. Like, this doesn't seem wise, you know, like, and, 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 and I don't know. <laughs> You know, uh, this is my second invocation, second and last invocation of Father Stephen Young, because, again, we don't want him to appear. Um, he said, you know, he said one time in a conversation I was having with him about somebody who seemed to be like an actual modern person who seemed to be kind of trying to get in touch with the spirits of giants. Mm -hmm. OK, so we're talking antediluvian pre-flood demons. Yeah, that doesn't right? sound like a very good idea. Right, right. He said, well, you know, in the conversation, he said. Well, if you want to know what it was like before the flood, I guess you could ask somebody from then, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You know, it just doesn't seem like a good idea. You know, and of course, Bilbo does get burned <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But like, let's say, okay, so let's, let's, let me give you, uh, let me, let me, let me turn that on, on its head for you. Like, because right. I, I, I always like to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I won't name him, the priest that you mentioned, but... <laughs> isn't that what he's doing already right yeah. isn't that what he's doing isn't he looking into ancient stories of Baal and ancient stories of all these dead gods in order to find some nugget some small little spark that he can then steal from it and then yeah. it would be useful for him and maybe that's more like what Bilbo is doing I mean Bilbo is literally having a conversation with a dragon yeah but he's not I don't know. He's not engaging with the dragon in the sense of trying to have a relationship with him, right? He's not trying to commune with the dragon. No, he see he definitely sees the dragon as his enemy, and yeah. his conversation with the dragon is in order to see what gold we can take from that. Yeah, what and is it that the Saint Irenaeus talks about? You know. You know, the, the finding, oh, I forget if it's Andy or Nith, the idea of finding gold nuggets in piles of, of dung, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and Smaug remains fully kind of other. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no taming of Smaug. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, it's interesting, like, they go, they go out on the quest for the Lonely Mountain and there's this sense that there's a dragon in there and they're going to have to do something about that. But the question of, like, killing him, it's not really exactly brought up along the way. So, mm. so there's, this, there's a sort of, you know, um, unfinished, <laughs> you know, part of the plan, right? What are we going to do when we get there? Well, I'm going to steal a, a cup. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's kind <laughs> of, like, that's where the plan sort of ends. It's yeah. his job is to go take something right now. Smell comes out once he's sort of fully provoked, you know, because um, there's a couple conversations that happen. Yeah. And once the dragon is out, there's no other solution besides killing it. That's right. That's it. Like you, you should leave dragons alone most of the time. But if it comes out, then that's it. You got to kill it. Yeah. I, I, I like this, this thing with Smaug because like Smaug is a dragon you can have a chat with and it is dangerous. Like he is going to come out and, and blow fire. Yeah. He is going to do that. But at the same time, it's very bold, <laughs> you know, what Bilbo does. Uh, and he really mm. kind of comes fully into his own at this moment too, right? But he is in a way trying to – he's not going to tame Smaug. No, but no. He is attempting to flatter. He's attempting to make himself seem close to Smaug so that he can get something from him, at least long enough to get something. Yeah. 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 And they both have this kind of list of titles – you know, Bilbo gives Smaug all these titles, you know, and my favorite, of course, is Chiefest and Greatest of Calamities. That's so good. <laughs> like, you want to put that, I wish I could get like a diploma that has that on it. <laughs> <laughs> From the University of the Lonely Mountain, Chiefest and there Greatest of go. Calamities. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, but then Bilbo has all these titles too, you know, Barrel Rider, Luck, you know, Luck Winner, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know. There's, there, there is, it's interesting you describe it as this, you could almost describe it as this kind of parody. Like he is 
relating to him, even while he doesn't have a relationship with him. He's not trying to tame him, yeah. but he's just... Well, he's trying to get close. He's trying to get close to him in a tricky way, you know, which is what you do when you want to steal from someone. Is you? It's a kind of fake closeness that you try to... to uh, you know, to to bring about, yeah. and then when you're close to the person, then you take something. Yeah. You know, and that's what he's doing. He's acting as a thief, just like a pickpocketer needs to get close to you to steal from you. He's trying to get close to Smaug through words, and that's why also flattery is part of it because he's trying to make himself seem innocuous and uh, and not dangerous to Smaug so that he can just take. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 